Have you ever worked with a pediatric therapist and thought, I could do that? Or the opposite and think, I have no idea how they do that. Well, today I want to invite you to think like a therapist. So keep on watching to learn more. Hi, I'm Amy, Pediatric Occupational Therapist and founder of Playathy, and I'm here to provide you with some playful solutions and powerful results. Today, I am inviting you to think like a therapist. How do we do it? Are we just magicians? Well, I think it does involve a little bit of magic, and I want to tell you how that happens. So what makes our play different than your play. What I want you to remember is something very simple, and it is that we have a plan, right? And what does plan mean, of course, because I love acronyms? Well, we're gonna talk about that. The first one is P, and P stands for position. When we work with children, you may notice that we are often putting them in different positions right? We're not just sitting them at the table and doing work there. We are putting them on equipment. We are doing obstacle courses. We have them on their knees. We have them on their hands. We have them on our hands and knees, right? We have them upside down. We have them laying on their tummies. We have them rolling on their backs. We have them all over the place. And the reason why we are switching their position is because that is what is challenging their body to do new and different things that they may not be comfortable with. So we might be using that to gain muscle strength. We might be developing muscle tone. We might be working on motor planning. We might be working on all these fancy medical terms. And that is what is the purpose of us putting them in these different positions. We are trying to accomplish more than one goal while we are doing an activity. So that may be really overwhelming to you. You might be like, well, I don't know what position to put them in, right? Don't overcomplicate it. Just do something different, right? Just do something different. Don't make it too hard. Just get them, get them out of the chair, right? Get them off of their beanie bag and get them in a different position when they're playing. Oftentimes, I just tell parents, just work on pounding them on their tummy, even if they're not, you know, babies. Tummy time never gets old. Please watch that video, right? You can work on their tummy even when they are big. So just think about that. Maybe on their tummy, maybe on their hands and knees. There's wonders that you can do just in those two positions. All right, next is L. And L stands for lesson. When you are learning something, you are trying to develop a skill, right? So think about what you want, what you might want to focus on. You may want to focus on them learning their letters. You may want to focus on them learning how to count money. You may want to focus on all kinds of things. There's all kinds of lessons that a child can learn. So one of the things we're focusing on is some sort of learning activity. All right, the next one is A, and A stands for action, right? They are doing something. We may be painting, they may be drawing, they might be scribbling, they may be cutting, they might be dressing, they might be cooking, they might be anything, right? There's any, there's all kinds of things that you can get involved in. And that action is what we are doing. You don't take a child to therapy for them to do sit and do nothing. You may be used to doing this kind of thing, right? This is totally up your alley. You can do this. You totally can do this. You are a master at this. You sit your kid down and you're like, here, color, here, draw, here, watch this, right? So there, that is something that is not something that is so different for you. You understand this concept. You can do that. All right, guys, we are at N. And N stands for nexus. This is where the magic happens. What therapists do is that we are often doing all those three things together. And that nexus 
is that magical point where you are receiving therapy, right? So the therapist is using their knowledge of the body and the brain and all the things <laughs> that make, up, uh, make us as humans, all our emotions, all of it. And we are thinking about what position we're gonna put them in, what lesson they're gonna be learning, what activity they're gonna be doing. And we're looking, doing all those things in order to create some sort of therapeutic effect. I know I'm simplifying things, but I want parents to understand that if you don't feel like you can do all those three things, it's okay. Because actually we're just wanting you to play with your kids, right? And if you can throw in maybe two of those, work on two of those at the same time, awesome. If you can do three, amazing. We're not asking you to be the therapist, but oftentimes, sometimes you do need to fill that role, at least in between therapy or maybe after you, your child's been discharged. You know, play is often meant to be spontaneous, but when it comes to therapeutic benefits and when we're trying to achieve specific goals, sometimes you need a plan. So remember, position, lesson, action. And the nexus of all of those is where you're going to see the magic happen. I hope you found this tip helpful. Please be sure to head on over to playb.com where you can subscribe to the monthly newsletter and learn interesting, fun tidbits just like this. You can also receive discounts, news, and more. Until the next video, I hope you have a playful day.